Hello, scholars. Welcome to our second spelling lesson of 2021. You can see here I have the date written. It is our first month, January, so one. We are on the fifth day of January, five, and we are in the year 2021 now, so we have 21 as our year. It is lesson number 54. Scholars, this is going to look just a wee bit different today because I already was doing this whole lesson with you and then at the end realized, oops, I forgot to record it. So I have it actually already all filled out, but I will reveal things along the way so we can work on it in that way. So our very first word today is the word cough. Cough is both a noun and a verb, right? Cough is an action you can do. You can cough right now, <coughs> right? A cough, right? You can say, I have a cough. That's a noun, right? My cough is loud, right? Cough is a noun in that case. But when you're doing it and you cough, that's a verb. So it can be a noun and a verb. Very interesting. Take a moment, pause and analyze the word cough. All right, let's see how you did. So cough is a one syllable word. Our first sound is k, and our second sound is all four of those letters that are o, u, of, of, ah, ow. O, u, of, of, ah, ow. O, u, of, of, ah, ow. And in the word cough, it's making its fourth sound of off. O, u, uff, off, ah, ow. Fourth sound of off, cough. And cough, scholars, does not have a rule. You may let out one more cough before we move to our next word. <coughs> oh, one cough, scholars. Oh my goodness. All right, our next word, skipping a line comfortably close to the red margin, is the word cousin. I have a cousin who is moving to the Twin Cities soon. Cousin. Pause for a moment. Analyze the word cousin. Let's see how you did. How many syllables in cousin? Correct. Two. Let's see how you did. Cousin, here are the two syllables, cousin. So, k, first sound of the k. -s. Then we have this multiple letter phonogram. Ow, oh, ooh, uh. Remember the one that sounds like you're kind of getting all these punches to the gut. Hopefully, not punches to your gut from your cousin. Ow, oh, ooh, uh. Saying it's fourth sound of uh, right? K, uh, zen. Second sound of the s, -s cousin. Scholars, no rules in cousin. Cousin is a noun, and it names a person. Right? Nouns name a person, place, thing, or idea. Cousin is a person noun. All right, we are all ready to our third word. Our third word is dollars. Take a moment to write dollars on your paper, comfortably close to that red margin. Dollars is also a noun, right? Naming a thing. Dollars is a thing, a unit of money, dollars. Pause for a moment and analyze the word dollars. Let's check your analysis. Did you say dollars is a two-syllable word? That would be correct. Dollars. It has one multiple letter phonogram, army mateys, and a s saying its second sound of z, just like cousin, dollars. And it has the say them both rule, right? We have two ols, we have doubles in there. 
and we're going to say them both, doll lars to help us remember the doubles when we're spelling. When we read the word dollars, we don't say dollars, we just say dollars. But to help us with spelling, right, dollars. And as I've pointed out many times this year, when we have doubles in the middle of a two-syllable word, we are most often going to split the syllable in between those doubles. Dollars. Now, scholars, our last required word is the word careful. Right? It's a root word with a suffix added to it. It's the root word care and the suffix full. When you are careful, you are full of care. Right? You're doing something where you want to do it with much care, full of care. Right? If you be careful as you're walking on the ice, right? you're being full of care. If you are being careful while you're carrying the very fragile vases, right, you're doing it full of care. If you are being careful on your long division work, you are doing it full of care. Careful. Pause for a moment and analyze the word careful. All right, how many syllables in careful? Correct, two. And the syllable split, scholars, is actually right between, it splits with the root word care and the suffix full, careful. Care has a silent E at the end of it. We did not drop the E when we added the suffix full because the suffix full does not start with a vowel, right? So it's not the drop the E rule because the E gets to stay there. Vowel A, consonant R, silent E, means this has the VCE rule. That villainous E who is not being very careful in his plan to take over the world. Care, full careful. Do you remember which part is the root word? Bing, bing, bing. Correct. Care. And do you remember which part is the suffix? Bing, bing, bing. Full. Careful. Good work. Then, scholars, our bonus word today is the word Bolivia. Bolivia is a country in South America. We learned yesterday it has Sucre and La Paz as its capital cities. Here you can see La Paz in Bolivia. And some of the others we have done, right? Buenos Aires, Argentina, Santiago, Chile, Montevideo, Uruguay, Brasilia, Brazil, Lima, Peru, Quito, Ecuador, Bogota, Colombia. Caracas, Venezuela, Georgetown, Diana. But again, today, our bonus word is Bolivia. If you know someone named Olivia, it's often spelled just like this without the B at the front. Not always spelled that way, but it reminds me of the story I shared with you in book week, Olivia, right? Olivia the pig. That's how you spell Olivia. And Olivia is not from Bolivia. All right, scholars, that wraps up our words. If you would like to have an optional enrichment activity for your own enjoyment, you could fill in an answer to this. I paid $3 million for the blank. And maybe to make it a little fun, a little silly, what might be something that would be very strange to pay $3 million for? Right? Maybe it's something that's normally quite cheap and you paid three million dollars for it. Could be quite exciting. Remember, this part is optional enrichment. If you'd like to just have a little creativity and a little fun, I've been enjoying doing that with mine. You can check out my sample photo of this page in the post. Remember, the required part is to answer the five questions on the Google form and click submit at the bottom of that Google form to send your answers to your teacher. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great rest of the day.